Hello and welcome to another Spectrum Geeks video. My name is Dale. In this video we're checking out this uh, Ryobi Electric. It's a compacting shredder. So Ryobi calls this the RSH3045U, their electric silent shredder. Um, maybe it's silent compared to other shredders. I'll have to do a test if I can find my decibel meter of how loud it is. Um, I wouldn't call it quiet but it's not super duper loud. Obviously this isn't a battery powered product like the other Ryobi products. This is required to plug into the mains and has around four, four and a half meter electrical cable. So definitely nice and uh, versatile for you to get where you need it. Out of the box, it's pretty much pre-assembled. It needs about 10 minutes. Pop the wheels on, pop the uh, little um, tray in there and then you are good to go. In terms of features of this device, obviously it's 3000 watts in terms of the motor. It comes with a spanner and an Allen key now which helps you put it together. Also comes with this kind of safe hand thing because if you like your fingers you don't want to stick it in the hole of this. Um, it's capable of shredding around 200 kilograms of I guess tree branches etc in an hour. It has a 55 litre bucket that everything go in. It is relatively heavy at around 21 kilograms but with the two wheels it's really easy to kind of roll around and you don't have to kind of lug things and uh, get a big sweat on. Okay so if we look at some of the features of the electric shredder um, you have this little kind of turny turny knob on the side this basically adjusts the lever inside where the motor is so basically if you've got larger or smaller branches you may have to adjust it so it goes into the shredder. Whilst we're talking about that four and a half centimeters in terms of width is what the shredder can handle in terms of its entryway and again i'll mention it again just for safety purposes do not stick your hands in the hole once this grabs hold of the branch it really does pull it through so you know you want to get your hands well out of the way if you have any blockages use this also at the back um as i mentioned it comes with an allen key if things get really blocked up you can remove the four allen key bolts get at the back and kind of clear things out without an issue there's quite a few safety features on this where the bucket um, is kind of fixed into the bottom here there is a, a little lever that goes up and down to lock it in position it will not fire up if it is not in the lock position so if i just put this right like here like that now it doesn't do anything but i'll just quickly fire it up to show you just how loud it is again you don't need air defenders but i wouldn't call this silent the 55 litre bucket basically goes in on some rails and um, will chop things up relatively finely. You can then use for composting or perhaps for uh, in your plough bears and stuff, whatever floats your boat. Yeah, but it, it flops in and out easy enough. On the top of the unit, you've got a couple of features. That the green kind of play button is what starts off the shredder. Obviously, the stop, big red stop button is to stop it. And then the yellow button, if you push and hold that, it will reverse the motor in case you have any blockages, you need to pull something out. But remember, when that green button's on, keep those fingers away uh, from the entryway. And then there is an emergency kind of power cutoff button right at the top if you have any kind of super duper issues. So let's uh, get some branches, let's fire it up and I'll show you kind of how it works and uh, yeah, let you know what I think of it. I've been using it for a little while. Um, there's a mixture of how good the cuttings seem to be based on my experiences. Uh, maybe it's the type of tree. Um, I don't know, I'm not an expert, but so far I'm happy with it. So let's grab some branches and uh, get them stuck in. Okay, so here's a relatively big branch. Should fit in the actuator, shouldn't it? Might be slightly too big. Let's see. It's probably going to be pushing it, um, but we're going to have a go because science and things. This is off a apple tree that's not been doing too healthy, so this branch snapped off uh, earlier on in the winter. Let's fire it up, get this ready so I don't lose my fingers, and see how it does. Interesting. Okay, this is on the slightly thicker side. 
but as it got blocked it automatically reversed it back out again. Let's try it again. I don't know about you, um, I thought that was pretty impressive. Let's have a little look to see um, what the end result is like of that um, cutting. So I think that's done a really super job actually. I'm going to carry on getting rid of the um, other bits and branches that I need to get rid of. So I'll leave a little bit of uh, play on the end of the video. but. I'm really happy with this. I think if you're looking for a kind of compact shredder that easy to move around, does the job, handles easily four and a half centimeters, that branch I think was slightly too big if I'm honest, um, but it seems to be pretty safe, pretty robust. Time will tell how long it lasts, of course, but um, yeah, I would recommend this. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Also, if you have one, and if you've been happy with this Ryobi electric silent shredder, it's not silent. Even found the little label there, 102 decibels. That's not silent. But um, yeah, definitely recommend it. Thanks so much for watching, as always. Enjoy the uh, end of this video. Until next time, take care of yourself. Bye for now. Thank you.